<laughs> Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year were donating to the local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub. You can buy one of these t-shirts. You can donate monthly. You can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it, guys. And look who's out. Disco ducks, he flew out of the pen. But they're just waiting to get out here. Big time, actually. All the little wild ducks inside the pen, guys. Look at it, right there. So welcome to the duck adventure for, I think it's August the 7th, maybe it's the 8th. Well, let's go with the 8th, I think it's the 8th. It's, yeah, let's go with the 8th. So guys, I'm uh, we're going on a feed run here. But it's a little bit of uh, a little bit. It's Russian roulette feed run today, guys. Uh, I got big time bad news yesterday. The motor in my truck went. Uh, I've lost compression, uh, like almost 60% compression on two cylinders. It happened yesterday. It just dumped uh, a whack of oil out the uh, exhaust, and I noticed a big puff of smoke and lost power, and uh, it's got a tick to it now. So the old truck's uh, history. So. I don't know if it's even going to do it today. I'm hoping that we can pick this feed up and get back home uh, so that I can deal with the uh, uh, with the truck uh, over the next uh, basically 10 days uh, while I've got a feed supply here. Because right now I've got no feed here. So the ducks are not getting out right yet. I'm going to go do the feed run. When I get back, then I'll let the ducks out because I still don't trust this predator situation even though we haven't seen any. I'm not taking any chances of being away and giving Mr. Coyote or the Fox a chance to uh, have a snack uh, you know, on my, uh, on my dime, actually. So, we're off. Uh, I have no idea, like I said. I'm, I'm actually quite nervous, guys, uh, because the old truck coming home last night, I went to my buddy's place, we did a compression test, and uh, you know, when I was coming back home, I was like, oh, please, you know, and he's like, he, my buddy's a mechanic, and he says, Matt, you know, it can just go like in a split second. So I'm hoping that, you know, throwing 3,800 pounds of feet in the back of it is not gonna be the split second. So here we go, it's early, it's about 8 a.m. So I'm giving myself lots of time. If I do get stuck on the side of the road, uh, I'll get back here somehow today. All right, well, here it goes. Oh man, I'm hoping this works today. The last thing I need is uh, the truck to die on the side of the road full of feed or not get any feed home here today because I've got nothing to feed the ducks. Oh, I know, Dougie. Eh? You can tell I'm stressed out. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh, please uh, do the round trip. Oh, she's running rough. Well, when a motor decides to go, it usually doesn't give you any warning. All right, here we go. A little bit of a pit stop here. I picked up a, a new bike tire. Last night when I got home and I you know, discovered my truck was screwed and I thought, oh, I don't want to get stranded at home with no vehicle. Uh, and I went and got, dug my mountain bike out uh, of the garage and the front tire was uh, had a big blow on the side of her. So, tire backup for transportation into town. Oh, I don't believe this. I gotta get this truck fixed. Well, Dougie, we made it. Sit, Doug. Be a good dog. Stay. You're being so good today, Dougie. Come on. Robert's slipping. I phoned yesterday and let him know that I was coming for my 43 bags and he, he didn't do it. You gonna open it up? I'll open it up. Make sure there's nothing in here. No, the dog is out. I, I held back on giving you the recycled bags so I could get some new ones.
Now the big if is if the truck's gonna get home. <laughs> this, is, this is truly the Russian roulette feed run. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. But I've got the toe strap and I know your number. Are we gonna make it home? Oh no, it's missing. Oh, she stalled. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, we're at the halfway point getting home here with a 3,800 pounds of feed in the back of the truck and the service engine light came on. Could have told you that yesterday. Okay, we're almost home here. I can't believe the amount of blue smoke she's blowing. She just started blowing like crazy. Oh, I gotta deal with this really fast. It actually looks like a, a diesel. There was so much smoke coming out of the back end of her. Oh, what a relief to get into the driveway with the feed. Well, let's let these poor ducks out. I can't believe I made it home. Oh man, the way she was blowing blue there going up the hill. Uh, I was actually right at the halfway point. The light came on and uh, then she just started blowing. Yes, Doug, I know. We're lucky with our home. I wouldn't want to be stuck on the side of the road with, you know, 3,800 pounds of feed in the back of the truck. All right, let's get these ducks uh, out and then unload the truck. Doug, back. Doug, back, back. You're going to be in the field today, aren't you? <laughs> we got lots of dub jumping around in the screen here. <laughs> okay, Doug. Okay, Doug wants to play with me here. The little wild duck is still here. I've already gone in the house and, uh, dog, don't do that. I already went in the house and uh, got the uh, shotgun out and the rifle out. So the, the, I got the weapons are right inside the door, just in case we need them. But based on the last couple days, these guys are just staying around in the property. They're not that interested in going down to the swamp. I don't blame them. Oh, disco duck, she didn't get eaten while I was gone. There she is. Doug's uh, really screwing things up here. Doug, come over here. Doug, come. Let the ducks get by. The ducks are completely screwed up because of Doug. I love when they munch the grass like that. Because I really hate cutting my lawn. Well, there's a little wild duck. And Doug's right behind it. And it doesn't fly away. It's even getting used to Doug. Oh, there it goes. Just maybe a liar out of me. But she doesn't go very far. She sticks right with the flock. Okay, Doug keeps following her. She doesn't want to go anywhere. She's staying here. She's so small. Actually, there you go, guys. Look at that. That's a size difference. She's so tiny. Not a lot of meat on her. Doug's screwing me right up here today. <laughs> Doug thinks I want to uh, herd them. I gotta unload the truck and do my duck chores here. Get things happening. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. And enjoy the show.
I just turned around to uh, go to the truck to start unloading it, and I uh, noticed the ducks are headed down here. So let's see if they want to go to the creek or not. I think Doug's going to go do a bit of a recon for us here. He's going to go down. He must be smelling something. Something could have been here. Huh? As soon as the killdeer lose it, the ducks just stop in their tracks. Well, Doug's down at the Coyote Trail now. And the ducks are dispersing here, and it doesn't look like they're going. Looks like they're gonna stay around here. Yeah, it looks like they've lost their train of thought here. Oh, what's going on? It's gotta be Doug. Everybody's running towards me. Even this bunch. Hey, where's Dougie? Unless Doug's chasing something. No sign of Doug, guys. I don't see him anywhere. Okay, I gotta go get the rifle. Something tells me to get ready here. All right, Doug just came back. And the ducks have no interest in being down at the creek. Who knows, we might have had a visitor while I was gone because we haven't had like any sightings at all of predators and I'm trying to think, it's been, it's been a long time. <laughs> well, a long time in the duck world and they're not interested in going down towards the creek. But I have noticed the last couple days with the, uh, the blue herring hanging around down at the creek that it freaks the ducks out. It's bizarre because the ducks can be uh, playing in the water and then, you know, the blue herring stands right there and you know, watches waiting for frogs or whatever the, you know, the ducks flush out and they have no problem. But if the blue herring starts moving around too much, it, they, the ducks seem to be a little bit freaked out. But right now the killdeers are just buzzing around big time. I know this predator uh, situation, I just wish I could end it. Because I'm ready. I'm really ready actually. And you know, they always show up when you're not ready. Well, I shouldn't say they always because I have, you know, gotten my fair share of them here. But uh, I would just like to just end it so we could relax. Something here though, killdeers uh, are flying non-stop over the swamp in that dive bomb fashion that they do when they're freaked out. Ducks are more interested in being up here though. Okay, I'm gonna go unload the truck. Doug's in the yard. He had a good run. Is there something here, Doug? Because you haven't ran down on the coyote trail in a couple days, actually. Did you smell something? 
Actually, I think it's been about maybe even three days since Doug has uh, shown any interest in the swamp. So we might have had something here. All right. Unload the truck time. Originally, he got up and I had all the bags. There's about 20 bags piled in the back here. And he's at the very top, and the more I kept taking off, he kept moving back and forth. What a silly thing. Doug, you're a goof. Come on, Doug. Let's go. Oh, now I'll go feed the ducks. Oh, a bunch of ducks went down to the creek. Still a bunch in the yard, though. Doug's all happy today. I don't know what's going on with him. I guess he took his happy pill. He's been uh, doing a little bit of running around, not much. A lot of nose up in the air stuff. But it has, uh, it, it did rain, I should say it has. It did rain this morning. So it's got that smell in the air. Who knows? I don't think I got the rifle on my shoulder here and just in case. Just in case. I'm prepared. Oh, look at this. They heard me dumping the feed. They know the sound of the feed bouncing uh, off the plastic inside the feeder. Something uh, has caught Doug's smell uh, sensors. He's uh, been uh, patrolling the uh, creek back and forth. So those ducks are safe down there as long as Doug's running back and forth on the creek. And he's actually being really calm around the ducks. It's actually quite impressive watching him work. But he's uh, smelling everything there. He just came out again. I think we had something here today. Well, I've got the uh, rifle hanging right here in the pen with me. So I'm, uh, I'm ready. Oh, Doug's coming back. What a dog. He's working, doing his job. So am I. I'm cleaning up duck poop. I, it, because of the rain, it's nice and soft right now, so I'm giving it a quick uh, rinse. Look at these ducks. I'm uh, washing the pan out here, and they just love playing in their feces-laden water. Just look at them going. They love drilling in this stuff. I don't know what it is. I just had to kick Doug out of here because he wanted to play with the hose while I was uh, washing it out. It was uh, between the ducks and Doug. I don't know which is worse. Just look at these ducks. I'm almost done. This little job turned out to be a big job. Massive amount of uh, duck feces. But the ducks keep getting in front of me because they want to get sprayed. And look at this group in the, drilling in the mud from the draining of the, uh, the pen. This is all the ducks have been doing all day. At least no predators. I just realized why there was so much feces in the uh, pen. Lockdown. Because I had cleaned it before and it was just unbelievably thick. But look at the ducks drilling in that nasty mud. That's all they've been doing. Just having a blast drilling in their own feces. <laughs> Doug, you're in it. Oh, he's done that about uh, 20 times today. Oh, ducks, they lose it over everything, right, Doug? <laughs> you're just standing there looking at them and they lose it. How come you're sticking to me so close there, Doug? I can't believe five and a half hours cleaning the pan, guys. That's crazy. It's uh, quarter to six. I, uh, I walked past the house and I smelled my supper in the, in the oven. And I said, oh, hey, timer wasn't set till 5.30. So I knew that uh, it was past that time. So that was just a bigger job than I, I did not even plan on doing it. But then again, I didn't know it rained uh, because where I was but today, picking the feet up, there was no rain. Uh, so when I got here and everything was wet, so we got hit with rain here. So I had to take advantage of it. And it's the best time to wash the pen out. Pen's clean. Ducks are uh, goofing around here. There's nothing happening, no predators. It's pretty quiet. I'm gonna have a shower now because I know I'm, I'm absolutely covered in uh, duck feces spray back. Blowback, I should say. But the ducks are uh, playing. They love drilling in the mud. 
Every time I wash the pan out, same thing. Now some of them have left and they're already going down to the lake. I guess they're gonna have a rinse off in the creek. And Doug's watching out. He's uh, keeping an eye on the ducks today. It amazes me how much they can drill. They're everywhere, anywhere there's water, they're drilling in it. The poor ducks, you know, they panic and Doug is like, he's just walking casually through them. They get so flustered around them. Okay, we got a helicopter coming. See, Doug, he's gonna bark at the helicopter here. You can hear it. Oh yeah, it's an air ambulance, not a good thing. Somebody's in it going to the hospital. It's, it's, it's always a sad thing when you see that thing flying by, guys. It means that somebody is getting rushed to a hospital that uh, a regular ambulance wouldn't cut it. And Doug thinks the air ambulance is a predator. Look at him going. He's following it to the bush. He can see it going uh, over top of the trees. What a dog. Oh, the scolding. I almost missed that. Okay, so because Doug took off down there to uh, chase the helicopter, he's on the other side of the creek right now. It freaked the ducks out and they're coming back. Well, they're not coming back too fast though. These ducks drilling and oh man, they killed me. They're all watching me here. All day when I was spraying though, they kept coming up to me and looking at me to get sprayed. And then you give them a spray and they'd run away and then they'd come back and then they'd run away. It was unbelievable. They were like little kids. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.